Folks, it's been a mild day across the valley today. Your temperatures have hovered in the low to mid 80s in most places, a little cooler at the coast, about 79 right now in Port Isabel, but there's McAllen at 86. Rio Grande City's 85 degrees at this hour, 81 in Brownsville. Your dew points are still in the low to mid 60s across the area, so they're still, yes, on the muggy side of things, but on the low end of muggy, if you will. Not too bad, because by the time we get to summer, we're up here in the mid 70s, so it's better than that, but not quite like it was a few days ago when readings dew point wise we're down in the 40s. Overnight readings bottom out in the upper 60s. Valley wide it's a mild night across the area. A little warmer at the beach and then tomorrow it warms up a little bit not a lot. We're looking at about 85 west of Go Harland and about 86 in McAllen. The island tops out about 79 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Go farther west temperatures will be a little bit warmer. Now the normal high we're still running right at 86 for the 30 year average tomorrow. Not quite there. Sunday a little warmer despite a front coming through early in the day. It's going to dry the air out. When you dry the air out, it can warm up more. And that's what's going to happen on Sunday. And then Sunday night, things cool off a little bit. And we don't rebound quite as much on Monday. We've seen isolated showers in the valley today, but nothing really big. I think there's probably a better chance tomorrow. This is the satellite. You've seen those clouds work their way across our skies. The old front is turned around. It's working its way back to the north as a warm front now. It'll work its way out of here. But with that, as it pulls away, it pulls lots of moisture up into the region. And that gives us the spotty showers around the area tomorrow. About a 30% probability for tomorrow. Sunday, the next very, very weak cool front pushes through. And we call it a cool front because technically that's what it is. But behind it, it's still warm, but we lower the humidity. Drier air can warm up and cool off a lot more quickly. So the air dries out. It warms up nicely Sunday afternoon. And then Sunday night, it cools off. And as we mentioned, not quite as warm on Monday. Chance of rain tomorrow stands at about 30%. You're looking at spotty stuff. We've taken the rain out of the forecast for Sunday, although pre dawn, I could see something, but during the daytime, it should be pretty much dry. If something lingers past 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, that should be about the end of it. And then Monday looks to be a dry day. Rest of Texas, cool up north, 66 in Austin. San Antonio, 63. Remember that warm front sitting right here, pushing northward. And as it does, it'll take the warmer air across the rest of Texas. Good big showers and thunder showers showing up out in the west. So there's your warm front. There's the cold front. Warm front pushes northward, warming the state up tomorrow. But at the same time, the first push of cooler air starts to work across the state tomorrow. It falls apart. Here comes the next one, though, right behind it. It comes in Sunday, brings that drier air in. And once it's here, high pressure builds in. It looks like it's going to stick around for a few days. We're taking the rain chance out, not only Sunday, but for pretty much all of next week. Traveling for the weekend tomorrow, San Antonio starts the day in the mid 60s with clouds and maybe a shower. 62 in Houston, 56 in Dallas. You can see it's colder up in the panhandle. 56 in Amarillo for a high. San Antonio reaches 71, 62 in Dallas, so light jacket might be a good idea if you're headed northward out of the valley. For us, mainly cloudy and mild tonight, 69 for a low. Southeast winds at about 8 to 16 miles an hour. Then tomorrow, mostly cloudy, stray shower. High tomorrow afternoon at 85 degrees. Winds out of the southeast at about 10. To 20. Here's a look at the next seven days. We go 85, 88, 84. A stray shower tomorrow. Lower humidity Sunday. That lasts into Monday. As we go through next week, temperatures stay pretty close to normal for this time of year with nighttime lows cooling off nicely into the 60s. So the bottom line for the next few days looks pretty comfortable. Slight chance for a shower tomorrow. That is your updated first 1.5 forecast.